Hey guys, welcome to our weekly vlog. Ron Johnson, life coach, motivational speaker. I'm here to inspire you, motivate you, know you have a choice, you can be anything you want in this world. So before I hop into today's topic, I'm gonna first say what I'm reading, right? So obviously you know with the COVID going on, shelter in place, a lot of people are at home, I'm getting messages, I'm getting emails about what books I'm reading, right? Because what I usually do is that if it's something I think that pertains to what's happening right now in our situation, I always post on my story, I post it on Facebook, I let you guys know what I'm reading, help motivate those out there at the same time, bring some enlightenment, right? So first book I'm gonna talk about, I just finished probably the, the best book that I've read so far, it's called, I'll show you, Letting Go. And it's a great book, it's by David Hawkins. It really talks about um, how to let go of your fears, your guilt, what it really means to you, and how to guide yourself much better in life. So those are kind of amazing books. Second book I'm gonna talk about, which I finished about a month ago, is called, emotional advantage for, for those out there it's by randy turin for those out there that want to understand love want to understand guilt suffering anxiety depression and what it means and how to get yourself into the next level read this book amazing book you also get on amazon okay one book i just picked up healing and recovery i'm quite sure all of us need this book i have not read it yet but it is in my queue to read i have it it's about 500 pages long i can't wait to read it again another great book by david hawkins next book that i haven't read yet is called conscious business for those out there that are entrepreneurs those who want to let's say i don't know i haven't read it yet so i guess i'll find out once i read it i think one of the best books right now for the time we're going through is called embracing uncertainty this is probably one of the books that I have picked up. And for some reason, maybe about, I don't know, a month ago, I had it in my queue on Amazon. I was like, I need to buy it. So when we got shelter in place recently, I went and bought it on Amazon. And one thing I'm going to take away from this book is that one thing is for certain, a life is about uncertainties. We cannot control what life is. We cannot control what happens to us, but we can control response or our thought process towards certain things, right? Let's say this. For example, everything in life, we have an expectation, right? So you go to school, you have an expectation of getting a good career, depending on what, what curriculum you choose. You have a job, you expect it to get a raise, you expect to get promoted, you expect to learn something new. Well, what happens when we have all the expectations in there, they create a lot of negative thoughts. And what happens when expectations are not met, oh, I feel so depressed, we feel down, we feel apathy and lethargy because expectations weren't met. Once you relinquish the expectations to a certain outcome, because we cannot predict the outcome. We can do the best that we can, we can do, take our, our best research, but we cannot predict the outcome of anything in our life, which is a sure outcome, is that we live and we do die. But do we really die or does the spirit go to something else? We really don't know, right? But the thing is, don't give so much energy to expectations. Expectations are um, not guaranteed and things do happen. So that's what I'm getting from this book. Embrace Uncertainty, great book. I would suggest the time's going through right now, pick it up, read it. It's about 200, I think 83 pages long, but a great book to read. But today's vlog, which is more important to you guys out there, myself, is filling yourself with nourishing thoughts. How important is that? Let me tell you this right now, with a lot of things going on in the world and around us, we can't help but you know, be part of our environment, right? Like I always say, you are what you eat. So if you're absorbing certain things into your environment from the news, from social media, and it's not nourishing your thoughts, question that. Question the stimulus, question what's happening. Because usually what happens in that, it's causing a stimulus and your response is whatever your thoughts through your mind. I can't say what they are because everybody's completely different. But those starts are being nourished by an outcome or something that's happening to you right now. So how do you feel your nourishing thoughts? I'll give you an example of something. Let's say you go on a hot date, right? So you meet this guy at a blind date, you're gonna feel yourself with, well, I hope he's hot. If it doesn't show up hot, you feel disappointed, right? Instead of feeling a thought of, well, I'm gonna meet a great new person, I'm gonna learn something from it, if it works out great. We fill our body with nourishing thoughts, okay? Let's say, for example, on that job, you didn't get that raise or that promotion. First thing is, I didn't get it, I must have messed up, I had a bad review, we don't know what happened. Instead of filling yourself with those thoughts, fill it with, you know what, I didn't get that job, maybe it's a great opportunity for me to find a new job, or maybe it's a great opportunity to understand what happened, get the information you need, but fill it with nourishing thoughts. It's about triggering the mind to think different than what's happening to you, right? So there's a response happens to your life, how to think different. 
Let's say, for example, we're facing COVID right now. And uh, for myself, um, I'm a, obviously you guys know, I'm in the biz gym business. So gyms are closed. So I can fill my thoughts with um, how I'm going to pay my bills. I can fill my thoughts with um, how I'm going to uh, get clients. I can fill my thoughts what I'm going to do next. Well, I made a conscious choice a long time ago. I'm going to fill my thoughts what I'm going to embrace, what's happening as far as uncertainty. I'm going to embrace the knowing there's an outcome, right? A quarter has two sides. I can't always look at the head. I have to always know there's a tail on the opposite side. So I'm filling my mind with thoughts of I will make it. Thoughts of, okay, how can I be creative? Thoughts of what books can I read? Because I know something will happen out of this. I have that faith. Things will work out. So main thing is filling for yourself with nourishing thoughts will help give you the energy you need to accomplish anything you want. It's all about triggering a different response. When something happens to you, don't take the negative. Think about the positive, right? If you didn't get that job, well, maybe it's time to look for a new job. If you want that blind date and he or she wasn't hot, well, maybe I learned something new from that new person. If uh, I've had a bad relationship with my current boyfriend or girlfriend, well, what about the relationship that can make us communicate better instead of just looking at all the negative, right? Forget about the negative, focus on the positive. I know it's hard out there, but you can do it. So thank you for watching another weekly vlog, Ron Johnson Life Coach. You can always follow me on Instagram, Facebook. You also can text me, look at my email address. You guys can find me. I'm out there to help you and motivate you. Y'all remember, Ron Johnson Life Coach. I'm here to motivate you and inspire you and you have a choice.